Well, the 2023 hurricane season is here. We're talking about what to expect as we roll into the next several months. Uh, NOAA released its forecast at the end of May. 12 to 17 tropical storms expected, 5 to 9 hurricanes, and 1 to 4 major hurricanes. All in all, a roughly similar season to what we saw last year. Now, Colorado State University puts out a forecast each year as well. They're expecting 13 named storms, 6 hurricanes, and 2 major hurricanes. So that falls roughly in line with that NOAA forecast. A change from last season. Season, the La Nina pattern we had in place over the equatorial Pacific that has since faded away and we're now in a neutral phase, but it's not having too much of an effect on the numbers just yet in terms of what to expect. Now, the list of names from 2017 is reappearing in 2023, but with four exceptions, four names retired from 2017. That would be the H, I, M and N storms. You might remember them. Harvey, Irma, Maria, and Nate have all been retired. Of course, Irma impacted us significantly here in central Georgia. But the first few names up, Arlene, Brett, and Cindy, the ones that have been replaced. Harold is new. Idalia is new. Also, Margot and Nigel new for the 2023 season. Now, just because the season's beginning doesn't mean we're going to flip a switch and we're going to start having hurricanes left and right. All in all, the months of June and July are actually relatively quiet in the tropics, usually. It's not until after August 1st where we see a big uptick in activity Activity, obviously into the month of September and then down on the downhill slope into October. The peak date for hurricane season is September 10th. Now, right now on 13WMAZ.com, you can get a lot more detail on what to expect for the season ahead, including a look back at the storms that were retired and details about what to expect here in central Georgia. That's right now on 13WMAZ.com.